In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a self-balanced robot from just a few boxes. First of all, uh, this tutorial is mainly targeted at those UGC game creators who want to create the assets in runtime. So if you just need to create a pre-configured character that can do self-balancing, you probably uh, should go through our sim rig editor on website. That is easier to use to combine um, uh, FBX mesh from Maya and overlay a physics rig on top of that. However, uh, some game developers want to create dynamic content. So you want to figure out from step, from step to step, how do you build a simulated character and uh, how to use the minimum steps uh, how to build it from primitives, then this tutorial is for you. The first step is that you download our Unity package from the Motion Portal. If you haven't signed up with our Alpha yet, welcome to sign up, sign up the Alpha program on dmotion.com. After you download the, the runtime package, in this case uh, it's Unity in this tutorial, then you can switch to the Unity editor and open up that project. We will start from a scene file provided as the samples under the motion folder. You can open this in editor three point tracking scene. But we're going to remove the minus man, those pre rig character, since we're going to create something from scratch. And the part one will focus on create ragdoll figures from a few box. Should be fairly easy. So let's clean up the scenes for things we don't need. And okay, we can reuse the plane. Uh, the plane currently using a mesh collider, which we can change it to a box collider for performance optimization. And then let's create our robot. Basically, we just start with boxes. Find a right pl place for it. Okay, let's say this is the the, the main torso of our, our box spot. We can call it pelvis. The size is probably too big for you know for the box. So make it smaller. Uh, let's see. No, something like that. No, let's just, just duplicate a few times to create our leg. Let's call this one L heap and we'll make, we'll make it maybe longer. All right, maybe thicker too. So as you can see, I'm only creating this really fast. Uh, in the real robot project, you probably want to align, align the, the parts so they are perfectly symmetrical, things like that. But well, don't worry about it now. No, hopefully it's good enough. 
Put this R heap. Let's create something looks like uh, looks like food. How hard can it be? All right. Create a food. Duplicate it, put it here. Okay, um, one requirement of our articulation is that they have to be under a common container. So let's just call container. Give it name like box spot. Uh, be, uh, be careful the scale on the top level we require it to be one 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 so if it's not the case make sure normalize your scale otherwise it won't work the container need to have one 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 scale okay and then just move everything under that container um, it's good to do a save point just in case we you know we call the box bot So um, we have the geometries, now let's create the physical entities. The root, you need a TNT base, since that's the base. Let's give it a mass of 100 kilogram. One thing uh, important is you, you want to make sure either fill in a non-zero MOI, moment inertia, or check this auto-compute field. Otherwise, it will jiggle around and become unstable. Don't forget that uh, either fill in MOI or check the auto compute. And then for the two heap, we want to make them uh, 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 bow joints. So we'll put TNT bow links on them. Uh, we can give them a mass of five. Check auto compute. So you know what? The pelvis seems a little bit tilted. So I just fix that. No. Okay. So now we have the, okay, we have the two TNT ball joint. We want to make sure, we want to make sure first the parents are assigned. Both of, both of them have the same parent, which is the pelvis. So drag the pelvis to the parent field of it. And now turn on the, the joint visualizer. You see the joint are not quite aligned yet. The green and the yellow should co-locate at the same spot. So we can press auto fill A to fix that. But still, they are not at the right spot. So we need to individually, let's fix it. Uh, that's the wrong one, wrong tracker. Okay. So this green spot now is, is where the ball joint should be located. You know, we just put a we just um, position it about right. The same thing for this guy. Do a video check, see if they are about to match each other. All right, let's say it's good enough. Let's go to the knee. Uh, the knee are typical examples of hinge joint. So you want to put a TNT hinge link on them. And for each individual knee, Assign the parent like this R L knee. I think oh, our naming is a little bit wrong. L R. This one should be R. This one should be L. Okay. So 
So the Elnie's parent should be I'll heap. Arnie's parent should be R heap. And don't forget to give the mass. Let's say mass 5 to auto compute MOI. And let's show the joint. You know, these are hinge joint. The axis should point to x direction. So fix the axis first, like that. And uh, auto field A, and then we need to adjust their locations. Make sure they're at the knee spot. Adjust the L knee locations. All right. So they're about right. Let's go to the feet. Uh, both feet, we consider them as universal joint. So put a TNT universal link on both of them. Uh, give them massive, you know, maybe two. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, check the MOI, compute. And uh, make sure the parent is assigned. So L foot parent should be L knee. And R foot parent should be R knee. Okay, so let's check. Uh, oh, we, we haven't assigned, uh, we haven't aligned the joint location yet. So universal joint has two axes to rotate around. We should make the first axis, I think uh, first axis can be X. The second axis in child frame can be uh, Z. And we need to align them. Okay, let's just make sure they are aligned. I think that's about right. So now let's do a video check for the entire thing. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six joints. We have three joint type, three jo uh, three joint types for six joints, and you have a root. Um, so that looks okay to me. Uh, I'll, I'll save it. So now let's do something like uh, um, I always like center the container pivot. So maybe we we'll drop it a little bit to the ground. So now we need to do the first step is a ragdoll drop test. No controller yet but you know see if it can drop and collide. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the drop test looks okay. By the way, um, the collision state is set as uh, is is set at TNT base. It has soft collision on, but most of the links they have collide with parent off, which means the links will not collide with their immediate parents. But overall, the links still collide with each other. So that concludes our part one of tutorial, which is make the robot ragdoll on the ground. We'll see you in the next part.